Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Swang, trek, trek. Well, hello, everybody. This is Huell Hauser, and I'm standing here in the heart of Reseda, a neighborhood in the Los Angeles Valley. Now, Louie and Cameron both have the day off, but that's all right because I've got a nose for news, and the news today is trash. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Drek Trek. And we're here at uh, a park to be determined. And I'm here to do what I do best, and that is pick up trash. But first, some stats on this beautiful morning and see what's in store for us today. All right, so here are the tools of my trade. And this is my grabby tool. I call this Grabney Coleman. I picked an awful day to do this because I'm in competition with the uh, guy who's mowing things. That's a receipt. Paper scraps. Ooh, sun-kissed tuna wrapper. Plastic lid. Another soda plastic lid. One thing I don't like dealing with is uh, wet trash. So many gorgeous trees. Who could be mad at these trees? This guy over here, he's mad at the trees. He made a bona fide effort to search the park grounds for evidence of trash, dross, and detritus. But sadly for Drektrek, very little was to be found save for a very frustrating patch of glimmering sequins. St ah, look at this, these sequins. Look, I'm getting mostly pine needles as I do this. What's this? It's like a Batman something. Uh, nothing on the reverse. No idea. Into the trash you go, Batman. He'll spend a dark night in the dump. <laughs> Balloons. Nothing special. Dog feces. <laughs> Cup noodles. These are called the Reseda Stones. That's pretty clever. There's really not much to them. They don't seem to be uh, laid out in any particular way. Oh, check this out. I found a pine cone. If you know what kind of tree pine cones come from, uh, leave a comment in the section below. Ooh, what is that? That's a heat sink. That looks like a heat sink from uh, something that needs a heat sink. We'll put that in our special recyclables. People love McDonald's. Hattie Bow. Cigarettes. McDo. Ah, look, 
here in Reseda they have the taxi litter. Heard at least cash. Trek Trek glossed over a very important detail. Uh, I'm gonna take over on this one, Spooky. You talk too slow. Yeah, so taxi companies pay people to leave these business card ads on bus benches all across the city. Sometimes they'll even wedge them into cracks and telephone poles and wherever they can. And naturally, when people get bored waiting for a bus, they'll grab the cards, they'll tear them into 100 pieces, and then toss them on the ground, which kind of stinks. I do think it'd be totally cool to find like an ironic way to turn them into something useful, like if you could collect a hundred thousand of them and turn them into a bus bench or a bus shelter or something. That'd be awesome. Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. Ugh. This is literally the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Sick of it. Uh oh. I believe this is drug paraphernalia, people. Cigarettes. More cigarettes. Look at this. So we dumped the whole ashtray. Cigarette smokers are probably the worst type of litter bug because there is no mechanism for how a smoker is supposed to deal with their cigarette butts. You know, they're not gonna put some flaming object in their pocket and take it <laughs> with them to a trash can. They just flick it in the street and it's so convenient. And there's no social awareness about why that's such a rubbish thing to do. No pun intended, but I'll take it. This park is rem remarkably clean. What am I even doing here? Look, there's no trash around the trash cans. This isn't Los Angeles. I'm gravely disappointed. Well, I kind of feel like I've hit a dead end with this park because there's not a whole lot of trash on the surrounding area, so we're gonna go find another place in Reseda to go hang out. So since I found the sign in Reseda that welcomes me, I figured I'd pay back the invitation by taking care of some of this detritus. I can't get all of it, but I can help. So I kind of buried the lead on why this channel exists at all. Um, I started picking up trash in my neighborhood in about April of 2023. And I kind of actually felt it was, <laughs> it was relaxing. There's a meditative aspect to it you know, the, there's a hunt. There's an element of skill. And you have these conversations in your head like, you know, what do you do if you're doing this and somebody decides that they want to be a jerk and just drop trash in front of you. And you get to make those decisions. You get to have those discussions with yourself. Do you get mad? Or do you just pick up the trash that they left the next day? Just things to think about. Street side's pretty bad. I think Oh, they do have a street sweeping uh, schedule up there. 
If they didn't, I would uh, go to the 311 app, which is the LA City app, and I'd request a street sweeping. I guess when you have all this kind of accumulation in the bushes, any sort of wind can just uh, blow it all into the street. What is this? Drug paraphernalia? <laughs> Baseball card. Fragment. Ooh, broken glass. Not a fan. But... That's a hazard for, uh, bicyclists, barefoot people. Here's the bat, the baseball card I found. Barry Bonnell. Bonnell. I don't know, I'm not into baseball. Oh, he's a Mariners. Wow, these are like old school tops or something. I think I collected these back in the 80s. Why? I don't know. Got my hat caught in the tree. You rascal tree. COVID mask. This is good. I'm, this is a little bit better than the park in terms of trash. I felt a little bit cheated. Park is beautiful, and I want it to remain beautiful. But this is more rewarding if you're picking up trash. Lottery ticket winners, losers, I should say. They're among the other worst litterers. Ugh, I didn't lose. Let me tear my ticket up into four million pieces and throw it on the street. Make my loss somebody else's problem. Eggshells. Brown eggshells. Plastic straw waste. Somebody TP'd that weed. Alright, I think I'm gonna do a uh, fast speed sequence. In a case like this, if, you, if you're into this sort of litter picking thing, you'll start to wonder, why couldn't they just throw it into the trash? But I started thinking about that, and I suspect that somebody probably did, and then somebody else tipped over the bin, something like that. And maybe the person whose job it is to empty the trash bags uh, didn't feel it was their responsibility to refill the trash bags. So then whose responsibility is? Mine, baby. <clears throat> More lottery tickets. Here's another lesson about this gig. When I first started doing it, I started to feel a little bit of the pressure of having to clean out, pick up everything. 
But then it occurred to me two important things. One, I'm a volunteer. I'm not getting paid for this yet. And two, I can always come back the next day and pick up more. And then over time, you chip away at it. maybe make an improvement down the road. I gotta learn how to speak in complete sentences and not pause for no reason. Ah, yes. I love these dental picks. I've picked up tons of these. I always like... I always like the notion of somebody who's really concerned. Yes! Well, naturally, I care about my dental hygiene and my and the way people perceive me. So dental hygiene is very important. So I'll just throw the bloody thing in the street. Uh-oh, here we are. Dental pick alley, number two. This whole strip needs uh, city gardening care. Because when you have outgrowths of weeds like this, they 100% attract trash. If it looks like trash, people throw trash in it. Well, man, I should have taken a before photo. I think I did a pretty good uh, job here. Take that, put that in the paint bucket. You gotta save the big stuff for last. Or first. There's no rules, man. <clears throat> Why is there a whole carpet? Well, Reseda, thank you for welcoming me. I hope I paid you back in my little way. And uh, I'll see you all again next time. If you like my work, come back. All right, the last stat, I want to measure what we've collected. Did we get every piece of trash and receipt? We did not. But how well did we do? All right, we got about 3.22 pounds. That's respectable. If you watch this whole thing, thank you so much. This is our pilot episode, and I really need your help. Tell me what you want to see more of. Tell me what you want to see less of. I'm super receptive to your constructive criticism. The hardest part of this project has been scouting good locations for trash pickup. If you have any tips in the Los Angeles, San Fernando Valley on where I can pick up trash, send me your leads, and I'll do what I can. Thank you so much. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Swang. Trek, trek.